I got a pretty cool little unwrapping for you guys today. This isn't for the Evo. This is for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. I'm pretty sure it'll work with the Verizon one, but I can't promise that. Got one, two, and three. Set this aside for a minute. Alright, let's open it up. We have an extended battery, pretty thick, and then the back plate. And in here, we also have another battery and a back plate. Another little card. Let you read that for a second and set it down. Alright, put all this to the side and then open the last thing. It's a case. It's pretty freaking sweet. It's like a honeycomb texture. It's a TPU case basically. It looks like it opens up in the bottom. Yeah, it's, it is a TPU case. It looks like the batteries are about 3,800 milliamp hours, which is pretty freaking sweet. That's a lot of juice. We're gonna take the back off the Galaxy Nexus. First, I'm gonna power it down, running AOKP Seal, one of the best ROMs out there. Just pop the back off of it. Take this battery out. And then put this one in. And then here's the included back that it comes with. All right, you just gotta put some pressure on it, I guess. It appears that you just push around it and get all the parts to snap in. All right, it appears to be on there all the way. Go ahead and give you a shot of it from the side. Let's see if it comes with any juice. It appears to be turning on. There's the pretty sweet AOKP boot animation. To give you a quick size comparison, there's the stock battery and there's the extended battery. Like three times the thickness. Maybe a shot at it from the bottom too. The stock battery is rated at 1850 and this one's rated at 3800. So you do the math. That's quite a bit more juice. It says we got about 56% remaining. Why does the focus keep failing? About to switch to freaking manual. There's a good shot of it from the side. Very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the stock battery back on it and let you see what it's like then. There you go, there's a the stock battery and back plate. Okay, I'm gonna take the stock battery off again. This door definitely ain't coming off on you by accident. I gotta keep it 100 with y'all. This case is a little bit hard to get on. That can be a good thing and a bad thing. I spent minutes trying to get it on there perfectly. But anyways, Holy cow! It's hard to get in there. Alright, so I got the case on there. I'm pretty sure it just needs time to wear into the phone. So there it is. Get a little bit closer to it. As you see, it looks very, very nice on the phone. I like the texture a lot. Well, obviously, this is just the unwrapping, and I don't know how well it's going to perform, but. 1850 compared to 3800 it's obviously gonna do a whole lot better and over the next few days I'll go from full to dead full to dead full to dead and I'll definitely put in the description about how long it lasts on each charge and keep in mind that is with a custom ROM AOKP so you'll want to make sure you check out the description to see how long the battery life lasts in this thing if you like this video all that I ask is that you give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If this is your first time seeing my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I have videos on all kinds of different ROMs for the Galaxy Nexus, Evo 4G LTE, and soon the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is what we're Josh doing. I'm out.